Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, in today's session, we'll discuss the motor drives. Especially, we'll talk about the motor drives required for single phase separately excited DC motors, then brushless uh, DC motors and three phase induction motors. So first let us discuss single phase separately excited DC motor. Before that, we'll talk about, we'll discuss the meaning of DC drive. So DC drive is a circuit which converts AC to DC to drive a particular motor. Now, if we are talking about single phase separately excited DC motor, then this is the simplified diagram. As the name indicates, it is separately excited DC motors. In case of DC motors, there are two important parts. So one is RA, armature winding and field winding. Look at this diagram. This is the field winding which is connected to some supply VF. It is connected to DC supply VF. So it is separately connected as compared to the armature winding. To this armature winding, we are applying input voltage VI. RA is the corresponding resistance. This is the motor. Omega M represents the speed of rotation of a motor. And this is the load connected to the motor. Now, as I know, this is a simplified diagram. Hai. Jase, it is shown in the in the name of this uh, topic that it is separately excited DC motor. Matlab field winding ko separate supply uh, connection karna hai uh, aur armature winding ko separate supply connect karna hai. So VF is the supply connected to the field winding. IF is the corresponding current flowing through the field winding. Now different equations are armature voltage EA is given by K phi omega m jaise maine bataya omega m represents the uh, rotational speed of a motor then motor terminal voltage that is voltage at the terminal of motor is vt is ea plus ia ra ia is the armature current which is flowing through this winding ea plus ia ra this is the equation of uh, vt that is motor terminal voltage and next is armature current armature current is basically we know that current is basically voltage upon resistance so it is terminal voltage minus armature voltage so vt minus ea upon armature resistance ra say this is equation number three now if suppose load increases in case of this motor load increases this part increases then Due to increase in the load, speed of a motor gets reduced. That means value of omega one, omega m reduces. Once omega m is reduced, according to equation one, value of armature voltage gets reduced. So Ea reduces. Since Ea is reduced, observe equation three. From equation three, Ea is reduced. That means we have Vt minus Ea. So this value is getting reduced. So Ia increases because it is Vt minus Ea. This armature current increases which will develop a required torque and which will achieve the, the required speed. So this is the way how this separately single phase separately excited DC motor works. Next is drive required for BLDC motors. BLDC stands for brushless DC motors. This is the simplified circuit diagram uh, which shows the connection for drive required for the BLDC motors. Here we are applying DC supply. This is the full bridge inverter. Output of this full bridge inverter is connected to BLDC that is brushless DC motors. We are using rotor position sensors. As the name indicates, this gives the position of a rotor and it is given to the control circuit which controls phase delay that is delta and firing angle that is alpha. Again, these controlled values of phase delay and firing angle are given to the full bridge inverter. So BLDC, as I said, it is brushless DC motor. It is asynchronous motor having permanent magnet on rotors and armature winding is placed on the stator. Now, the stator slot, as I said, armature windings are placed on the stator slots. So, and it is connected to the DC supply through inverter. Then, rotor has a permanent magnet and it has same number of poles as that of the stator slots. This, one, this uh, particular thing, that is rotor position sensor, RPS, provides information about the position of a shaft, 
to the controller it it provides the position of shaft of the motor to the controller that is to the firing delay and uh, firing uh, to the phase delay and firing circuit controller then full bridge inverter this particular block this full bridge inverter provides variable frequency and variable amplitude which is the requirement of the drive for bl dc motors so advantages of these drives are it is having high efficiency it eliminates brush maintenance because we are not using brushes and no sparking problems due to non use of brushes we are not using brushes so there won't be any sparking problem disadvantages are additional sensors are required to sense the position at a particular instant and the circuitry is comparatively complex so this is about the bldc motor drive circuit next most important part is variable voltage and frequency three phase induction motor drive from the exam point of view you may expect the question like this what is ac drive and explain v by f uh, control for three phase induction motor drive ac drive is a device which is used to control speed of electric motor and hence to improve the process control where this particular uh, motor is used for a typical application now the synchronous speed of induction motor is denoted by nr it is given by 120f upon p in the bracket 1 minus s p represents number of poles f represents stator frequency s represents uh, the slip now the flux phi is directly proportional to v by f so from this equation we can well say like this uh, you want to control the speed of induction motor so just by changing the frequency also it is possible to control the speed of induction motor but this phi which is the flux between in the air gap is proportional to v by f so let us say if we reduce the frequency then flux phi will change it may happen that there will be the core saturation so to avoid this both voltage and frequency are varied both voltage and frequency are changed so that this ratio v by f is kept constant in order to keep phi that is flux constant so v by f control method is the method in which both voltage stator voltage and frequency stator frequency both are varied both are changed and the ratio v by f is kept constant so that the flux in the air gap remains constant and there won't be any core saturation this is the typical uh, circuit diagram which is used as a drive for induction motor at the input we are giving ac supply having constant frequency and constant voltage this is ac to dc converter as the name indicates it converts the constant voltage and constant frequency ac signal into the dc signal this is the capacitor bank which is used to remove any ripples if they are present in the system then output of this is given to the three phase inverter as the name indicates it is a inverter so it converts the dc voltage which is obtained from this block into a uh, corresponding ac where we can vary frequency and voltage and we are keeping f by v ratio constant by changing frequency both frequency as well as voltage so this supply is given to the induction motor so this is the way how you can uh, design a drive to uh, for the induction motor